Shine, wild ones! It's Bernadette, and I'm here with your Pick a Card Tarot reading for Thursday, May 13th, 2021. Um, let me get through my housekeeping stuff first, and then I'll tell you why you're seeing me in the same outfit that you saw me in at the end of the live on this past Sunday when I did all the free readings, the live readings for Mother's Day. Um, so if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that little bell. Make sure you get notified. You get all the first notifications of the readings and all the other metaphysical goodies that uh, and shaman goodies that come on this channel. And um, make sure that you are registered over at gatheringofmystics.com. It's free. Those are my personal forums. We have a lot of fun over there. We learn a lot, a lot of healing uh, that goes on over there. And so uh, also, if you're not familiar with the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, it is my own award-winning deck that I read from. And, uh, and there we go. So let me tell you why I'm wearing the same clothes. Um, as I was right after the, you know, right after the live, because once we were finished with the live spirit said to me, Hey, you need to set an example for the folks out there that are working on their own mediumship abilities, their own tarot, intuitive tarot, psychic abilities, that kind of thing. And, and get them to see, or remote viewing or pendulum swinging or whatever it is, uh, runes, crystals, whatever it is. And so what that means is that spirit the animal allies, which you're a part of, know, know what's coming before it gets here. And it's really easy to project your consciousness into the future. It's just as it is to project your consciousness into the past. So at the end of the reading on Sunday, I, uh, I pulled a card for all the pack. It was the big message and it was Tiger, which is the King of Wands, which spirit has told me to bring out for you all today on Saturday. And what's interesting is, well, I think it's interesting. Tiger now for your Thursday, May 13th, 2021, in this reality that we're living in, not in another dimension, not in another time frame. right now in this reality, has a completely different message for you than it did when it came out on Sunday for the Mother's Day readings. And that is this. So... Thursdays are the heart chakra day that, you know, uh, Thursdays are ruled by the heart chakra. And I was immediately drawn to the heart chakra and told it is, it is time for you all to be like a tiger and protect your heart that your between your sensitivity, between your gentleness, your compassion, um, just being really sensitive not that there's nothing wrong with you for that. It's just how you're hardwired. You're just, oh my gosh, my mom's still doing it again, playing with this darn necklace. Okay. Um, well, that's because I'm, I'm recording this during Mother's Day. I've, I've, this is a pre-recording so that you all can see how relevant a reading can be, even when it's, you know, four or five days away. Okay. So, uh, and she was playing with my necklace this morning because she knows it annoys me. So, um, so it, there's something about you that specifically at this moment in your life, you've got to protect your heart and you're going to want to do that with tiger energy. Now, the card here in, in, in my deck is, you know, an orange tiger, but what I'm seeing in my mind's eye for the King of Wands is a white tiger. And what that tells me is you, you haven't made the connection yet that not only are you divine, you're, you're one piece of the, of God, the universe, uh, all that is, you know, at all, whatever you call it, that you are that it literally, you are part of that. And in that you have a tremendous amount of power behind you and that you can, not only can you step into that power at any time, you can call that power through you. You can channel that power and protect your own heart. I just, I, I'm probably going to say that a thousand times in this reading because I just keep hearing it over. Tell them to protect their heart. Tell them to protect their heart. Tell them to use tiger energy to protect their heart. Tell them to tap into divine energy to protect their heart, to protect their heart, to protect their heart. Okay. Hopefully that's the last time I'll say it. Now, having said that, let me say this. I'm also being told to tell you all, don't, don't, uh, don't only focus on the tiger. This is about the, the archetype, the, the literal being, the king of wands working in relationship with the tiger 
because the King of Wands is actually known uh, for his uncanny foresight. And, and a person who trusts their instincts, has learned to trust their instincts. And in that, in that trust, that his instincts have gotten so fine-tuned that even if he feels something that he's like, in my head, in my King of Wands consciousness, that doesn't seem right. But in my gut, in my third eye, in my heart chakra, in my, in my every chakra, it feels right. It looks like it sounds right. It's whatever. You're being asked to do that. You're being asked to really work with, it's almost like, it's almost like having one powerhouse on each side of you and you guys link arms and you're like, you know, we're on our way to the Wizard of Oz or something like that, right? We're on our way to enlightenment. And both of these archetypes, um, well, you know, the animal being the animal energy and then of course the King of Wands being an archetype are really going to hold you in good stead because you're, when you're hearing protect your heart, you, you might be thinking that's about, um, you know, going through a meditation and creating a bubble and this and that, but it goes a lot deeper than that. It goes a lot deeper than that. And it goes a lot deeper into protecting your heart. What that really means is what are the things that hurt you? What do you know are triggers for you? Can you find your way to not allow those things to hurt you anymore because it doesn't trigger your demons? And that is something last week that was a big lesson to me is that um, for those of you that missed last week's video, ooh, I forget what day it was on, but I have a friend that has um, a demon deck and it's not creepy and it, it's not as creepy and occult, not that the occult is creepy, but it's not boogity boogie. oh my gosh, is Bernadette into that stuff? No, I'm not into that stuff at all. Um, I just don't allow negative energy near me, but I'm, 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 I am absolutely uh, of the opinion in business and in personal life, you keep your enemies closer <laughs> and you always want to know about the opposition. You always want to know about the people that can do you harm so you can see it coming, right? You always want to know about any kind of situation that's going to do you harm. And to have that, you've got to be willing. You've got to have the internal battery, the power to be able to look that kind of stuff square in the face and go, no, you're not for me. Be gone. Right? So all of that said, um, last week, this person pulled a card for me and sure enough, it was, but I've already forgotten the name, Bar 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 Barbatus, Barbatus, something like that. And it was a fallen angel. It's a fallen angel due to, you know, in myth, in mythology, it's a fallen angel who is the only one who knows the language of all animals that he talks to the animals back and forth. I almost fell out of my chair. I'm still thinking about that. In that video, we talked about me not really uh, allowing the shadow work to come into my channel and allow it to come in through the animals. That was a mistake. I should, I, I don't know where I got that. I, I don't, I didn't even remember. I don't think I was told that. I just did that. Now we're going to talk about that stuff because some days the best inspiration we can get is, and I always want to inspire you guys and the animal allies always want you all to, to walk away from a reading, feeling more empowered and better than you did when you came in. And sometimes that's really just saying, Hey, we're behind you for you to have the courage to look things in the eye. And right now it's about your heart. What is triggering your demons? You know, do you, do you, do you not protect your heart because you're fearful of the outcome from other people. Like if you stand up from yourself for yourself, you won't have this person's love anymore, or this person will abandon you. Um, do you not protect your own heart chakra? Because in, you've got a martyr complex. There are a lot of empaths that have a terrible martyr complex. Woof. That's tough. Um, do you have a martyr complex or even a narcissistic complex where you're like, look at how much I give and give to other people and they just don't give back. That's a victim mentality married to a narcissistic com don't don't I'm not a, I'm not a medical professional of any kind. I'm not diagnosing anybody and I'm not casting aspersions. I'm telling what's being told to me. That said, today is the day that you use tiger energy and the king of wands energy to protect your heart. And that's going to be by facing the things that hurt it and either moving away from those things or those situations or coming to a place where you just don't 
it, it just really doesn't bother you because it doesn't trigger you anymore. It just doesn't trigger you anymore. You know, a, a prime example I could use of this is anybody that was called names as a kid. Oh my God, I was fat, so piggy, porky, you know, you name it. Um, other friends of mine that had terrible acne, they were pizza face. Other kids that had braces were this, you know, on and on and on and on and on. It, it was a long time before I could move past that fat girl kind of thing. And there are a lot of friends of mine that no matter how clear their skin is now, they do not step out of their house without makeup on. It doesn't matter if their skin looks like porcelain. That stuff left a mark. It truly did. But today cannot be that day any longer. You've got to use tiger energy and in particular white tiger energy just because of its connotations to purity. And it's almost like a purifying thing. You want to purify your heart chakra to the extent that you know how powerful you really are, which you don't currently know. And in that, you know, it's not like tigers walk around the jungle saying, I am the king of the jungle. Lions either, which are really the kings of the jungles. But they don't walk around extolling their power or, or talking about their power. They just are. And you don't ever see it until there's a need for it. But knowing who they are and trusting in their own ferocity and their own intelligence, their own cunning, their own instincts, just like the King of Wands, that helps them to move through the world in a very different way, in a very different way. And so it's that kind of thing like, let's say you're in a grocery store. I always use, I'll get to using something else besides grocery stores eventually. Um, but let's say you're in a grocery store and somebody skips line. That may not bother you on that day. In fact, you may be like, oh, thank goodness. I need extra time to pull out whatever, whatever. But let's say somebody skips the line in front of an elderly person or a lady struggling. She's got, you know, four kids and she's like, oh my God. And what do you, what do you do about that? Only your heart can tell you, will it be helpful for you to step up and say something? Will it be helpful to you? Will it be helpful to the person they skipped? Will, you know, I don't know that, but a lot of people would never have the courage to step up and say something. Now they'd mutter about it. They'd go home and tell all their friends about it. They'd post on Facebook about it or Twitter or Twitch or, you know, at all the 9 million social media channels that are out there. But what good does that do? Because Eckhart Tolle says, if you don't accept something or you don't walk away from that thing, perfectly clear, you're living in madness. All else is madness. Well, he says all else is madness and nobody wants you to live in madness. But today, tiger, white tiger, king of wands, is helping you protect your heart. And in doing that, when the hurt cannot get to you any longer, when the outside influences can't mess up your day, that is a power. That leaves your sacred vessel of your heart open and clear to receive. Instead of it being so full of fear, it leaves it open to receiving things that you may never have thought you could receive or could do. And that's power. And that may just be in the area of trust. I, I Trust is very difficult for me. I have chosen not to even try to fix that. Nope. I want my spidey senses on red alert for who I can and cannot trust. I don't, I, I, it just is that way. And the second I think I can't trust somebody, I'm out. We can stay friends and I'm polite about it, but I, uh, I just don't hang with those people that I know that I know that I know I can't trust. Now, having said that, I'm not asking you to be like me. That's not the point. The point is, is that you can still have a relationship with someone and not trust them. Uh, and it still be a good relationship of, of whatever kind it turns out to be, but you've got to trust yourself enough to be able to make that determination and only Give of yourself what is most appropriate. And that all circles back to the strength in your heart chakra. So I'll leave it at that. I really hope that was helpful. Please, please write in the comments if this was relevant to you today because Spirit told me, hey, you know, stay after the live, record Thursday. I don't, I, Thursday was, I don't, was the obvious day because of, 
you know, the heart and the message and everything that came through. Anyway, I hope it was helpful. Pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and as always, do good for animals, including yourself, and stay wild.